Driven from their homes by armed invaders, a few hardy refugees faced the prospect of starting again. They would found a new village deep in the countryside. With a new settlement established, the first priority was locating a reliable food source. The simplest source was gathering from nature. With a healthy supply of food, the village could start to grow. To do so, it would need more hands to share the work. the new workforce could now turn to the growing village's needs. First, they would build a mill near their food source, so villagers could drop off gathered berries more easily. Growing village would need wood to build with. The growing community now had a steady supply of lumber. To make wood collection easier, 
villagers could erect a lumber camp near the forest. Thanks to the camp, villagers no longer needed to travel as far to drop off lumber. The village now required additional houses to support its growing population. With additional housing in place, even more villagers could join the workforce. But a populous village would soon exhaust the natural food sources. To grow, the community needed dedicated farms. Men and farmers now kept the village well supplied. Further growth required knowing the countryside and finding more resources. For that, communities employed scouts. Abendende. Here, Werther. Yeah, yeah. Able to move quickly and see great distances, scouts were key to discovering new resources. The most important thing for a scout to locate was a ready source of gold. To prevent having to haul all large distances, expanding communities would establish a mining camp near the source of gold. A well-placed camp ensured efficient gold mining. With a good supply of gold, the village was becoming a large town. The signpost of this growth would be the construction of a large landmark.
With the landmark in place, the once sleepy village announced itself as a thriving feudal township. The townsfolk had been driven from their homes before, however. This time, they would defend themselves. The first step would be constructing a barracks for infantry. Eat your worker. Once it had a barracks, the town could establish a standing force of soldiers. Simple infantrymen armed with spears were a common choice for these militias. Yes, sir. Yarway. 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 Yes, sir. God, we got. Yes, sir. Yard away. The town now had a militia and could look to reclaim the lands lost to invasion. The invaders had blocked the road north with a stout palisade. Although spears were of little use against these walls, the militia could burn down the obstacle with torches. Mid May. With the road open, the militia could now reclaim their lands in the north. First, the spearmen had to deal with a lone sentry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Advancing aggressively, the militia eliminated the enemy sentry. The invaders had a small cavalry camp guarding the road, but the militia was ready to attack. Spears were highly effective against cavalry, allowing the militia to win the day. 
all that remained was to destroy the invader's stables. Cavalry post was destroyed, but other enemy positions awaited further up the road. Hostile archers defended the next camp, which would put spearmen at a disadvantage. The township needed cavalry of its own to deal with this, and so would need to build stables. To deploy that cavalry quickly, the town needed to build their stables near the front lines. Fortunately, friendly villagers came out of hiding and joined the effort. 